Climate change. We've all heard it before. It's the unnatural process of humans producing more carbon dioxide than the Earth needs to have a balanced atmosphere. Because of this, the carbon dioxide is trapping in heat, causing the weather and climate to change. For example, the Earth is heating up 0.11 degrees Fahrenheit per decade. Now let's narrow down some of the effects of climate change and how our community is addressing it. One cause of climate change is shipping of food over land or sea that uses gas as fuel. This causes a lot of carbon emissions, which means polluted air. What a lot of people don't realize is that the food that they purchase and enjoy is not made locally in most cases. A great example is the United States purchasing food from Brazil. When food gets transported from far places like Brazil, it faces us with the pro problem of unnecessary carbon emissions from its transportation. Another aggressor to climate change is the pollinator crisis. Due to overpopulation of invasive species like English ivy and the heating of Earth's atmosphere, these pollinators' habitats are being destroyed, resulting in a pollinator crisis. Pollinators are extremely crucial to the environment because they play the biggest role in plant reproduction. A pollinator helps bring pollen from the female part of the flower to the male part, while also collecting nutrients from the said pollen. This ensures that the plant is fertile and also can reproduce seeds. This is called a mutualistic symbiotic relationship where both parties are being affected positively. Now let's talk about a local community project that is fighting these causes. The Mills Community Farm is a 2.5 acre plot of land on the northeastern Mills campus, Oakland, California, right next to our school, that serves as a vegetable, fruit, herb, and flower garden, and also as a habitat for pollinators and other wildlife. The Mills Community Farm is part of the CSA, or Community Supported Agriculture, that allows people to pay monthly to get baskets of whatever the farm has to offer. They also offer flower baskets. This eliminates carbon emissions because it reduces the amount of food that needs to be shipped from far away. Additionally, this garden provides a perfect habitat for native plants and pollinators to thrive, and in turn, reduce carbon in the air and produce oxygen. Last fall, our class was fortunate enough to visit the Mills Community Farm, and we observed plants and pollinators that live there. There we worked together to identify non-native plants and help keep them at bay. We also recorded our findings to help scientists who are part of the Great Sunflower Project. The Great Sunflower Project is a citizen science project that collects and uses data to study the pollinators across the United States. In conclusion, the Mills Community Farm is doing a lot to fight climate change, from helping pollinators to reducing food miles, and even teaching what they're doing to inspire people. So let this community project that was started by college students inspire you. Can you do something like this? Can your community? Do, Do it, it for, for the, the future. future.